Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Li Ning Yushui Ultra. So I, I, I'm not 100% sure at what the name is because on different websites it says different things. So uh, some websites say this is a Yushui 18 Ultra. Some say it's the Yushui Ultra. Some websites are saying this is the Yushui Ultra Mid, which is, how is this a mid? This is like a high top shoot, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, this is the ultra or very nice version of the Yushui model, which is like their Hyperdunk line kind. You guys remember Hyperdunks? I wish Nike would bring that back, you know, but I guess they did kind of bring it back with the, the GT line, you know what I mean? But anyways, so the Hyperdunk, you know, to the Nike line is what the Yushui is to the Li Ning. But anyways, as far as the pricing goes, this shoe is freaking expensive, guys. So uh, obviously it's not their official website, but some of the websites that I checked that actually sell this shoe, uh, this shoe was priced at pr around like 290 to like 350 bucks, which is absolutely insane, you know what I mean? But the tech is absolutely insane. And I love what Li Ning does with their hoop shoes and also just the, all their shoes in general, right? They use a lot of R&D and you can see all the tech, like you can see the tech that they put into their shoe, you know what I mean? All the way from the rubber and the outsole to the pro bar lock, to the carbon fiber plate, to the actual upper. Um, so yeah, I do like that part, but I wish the price was a little bit or a lot better, you know what I mean? So if you guys do want to call, but try to leave a link in the description box, but let's get it started right off with the track Chiones in this colorway. We have pretty much like a semi-translucent or pretty much, I guess, fully translucent outsole. And it kind of reminds me of the, uh, like a fingerprint pattern. You know what I mean? And uh, we have this kind of like, like pod here, right? For the forefoot and also I guess your big toe, right? <laughs> but yeah, how does the traction feel so far? It feels really, really nice. The stock feels top tier, which of course I feel like uh, Li Ning and also a lot of Chinese companies, they do a whole lot of R&D in their actual rubber compounds and all their shoes have really, really good grip, right? Also uh, for durability, it feels like it'll be very good. You know, the rubber is very hard. The grooves are pretty deep. And uh, also there's a lot of surface area too. So uh, durability for outdoor use, you should be fine. Uh, of course, we'll have to see on dust performance, right? And we'll have to see how much dust it actually picks up, how fast it picks it up. Is it affected by dust that much? Uh, so of course I'm gonna need to actually play in these, but overall for my first impressions, just on my wood floors, uh, the bite seems to be really good. And also, it's really, really squeaky. It has a very, very loud high pitch squeak, which of course I do like. It has nothing to do with performance, but I feel like most hoopers like to have a very loud high pitch squeak, right? And as far as the technology goes, they're calling this GCU. So that stands for ground control unit, right? Or they also call it ground control system. And they're saying this rubber compound is specially formulated for grip, right? So it has extra grip, but also is extra wear resistant, which of course is what I was saying. They put extra tech and R&D into their shoes, which I really, really like, right? And now moving on to the heel to toe transition, it also feels extremely smooth, right? So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape, right? Nice curved shape. And also we have this exposed EVA, which I do like as well, uh, because this shoe is using full length boom and boom is extremely soft so if you had the boom like exposed here in the heel it'll be a little too soft it'll feel mushy and also unstable uh so sometimes what they do is they put a plastic cage over it right which makes sense because you want to make it a little bit more responsive in the heel but it does make it feel a little clunky when they use like stiffer plastic but i like how they kept it like just a foam right? And so this actually has a little bit of compression. It's soft and uh, smooth here in the heel still. And then coming here into the forefoot, we have a nice curved shape and we have, look at this, right? So we have a full length carbon fiber plate, you know, and it feels extremely nice. It reminds you a lot of like the wild 10 low. We also have a, an extra pro bar lock, right? Around that. Right? So this is just for extra torsional support, extra torsional rigidity, this asymmetrical design uh, with these three kind of like holes in it, right? It, you can also see the carbon fiber through it. And looking at the tech specs and looking at the actual dismantling of the Yushui Ultra, it seems to be a full length carbon fiber plate, which makes the shoe really springy it feels like right so uh, it'll improve the cushioning setup of course and also there is a little bit of resistance right it's able to flex still right but like look at that <laughs> it's it's still kind of hard it's storing that energy look at that right and then it springs back 
So uh, when you're doing heel dominance rides, because of the shape, it feels extremely smooth. And then once you kind of like come here into the forefoot, it'll probably spring you forward, uh, giving you a little bit more momentum, which feels really nice. You know, it reminds me a lot of like the GT Cut 3. The GT Cut 3 does that and also the Wild 10. So uh, this feels really nice with the full length carbon fiber plate. And now moving on to the cushioning setup, like I said before, we have full length boom. And with this setup, the full length carbon fiber plate is actually, uh, it looks like it's sandwiched in between the actual boom, right? So we have boom underneath the, the carbon fiber and then the carbon fiber and then another layer of boom, right? Uh, so because of that, we actually have boom underneath uh, your foot. So uh, first of all, the insole, the insole is pretty nice. It's just a regular like insole. It doesn't feel super cozy or anything, but it does add a little bit of step and comfort to the actual shoe. But then uh, underneath that, it looks like we have a regular type of struggle board, right? But it doesn't feel crazy stiff or crazy glued down. And you know, just pressing it with my finger, there is a little bit of compression and you can feel the boom. So underfoot cushioning and step and comfort is actually pretty dang nice. It's just not as nice as like the soft mesh show board found in like the way of weights, right? So the Wild 10 and also the AC12 have the soft mesh straw board, which feels a little bit softer, but this shoe still feels pretty dang nice. It feels bouncy, you know, boom, You as you guys all know, it does have a little bit of bounce as well soft compression uh, and also we have a little bit of compression from the heel and combining all that with you know the the full length plate which feels springy this cushioning setup feels really really nice so there is the cushioning setup there they're giving us like the best cushioning tech that there is and of course for the price it makes sense the better you know what i mean so there's that moving on to the upper so the upper material feels really nice especially for the quality so they're using a tightly woven integrated mesh fabric it was basically just like a tpu yarn but look at how thin it is it's extremely thin and i love how they're like it's kind of like comes up a little bit. You, know, you can see a little bit of the material coming up. So there's a nice little texture to it as well. But yeah, it feels really, really thin, right? But also pretty dang supportive, right? It's not super duper supportive, of course, like a synthetic material would be like in the Don Issue 5 or like a leather material, but uh, for how thin it is and how comfortable this kind of like yarn or like textile material feels on foot, uh, it feels pretty dang supportive, you know what I mean? And as far as the pattern goes, this pattern looks very similar to the actual outsole pattern. Pattern. And then coming here to the midfoot, uh, it's pretty much the exact same thickness, right? Uh, but it does seem to be a little bit more glued down. There's probably like an underlying material. We have uh, the, the leaning logo embroidered into the upper, which looks very nice uh, here on the lateral and medial side. Also for the tongue, we have pretty minimal padding. It's also a half booty construction tongue, giving a better overall one-to-one -one fit. And then here in the ankle area, we have a very nice bit of padding, like on top of the shoe, like where the circles are. So uh, we have extra padding there, which feels nice. But underneath that, we have like pretty much zero padding. And also on the middle side, we have a knit material as well. It reminds me of Flyknit with this kind of pattern, you know? Uh, but yeah, this, the quality feels great. It doesn't feel really glued down at all. You know what I mean? It just feels soft, comfortable, conforms to your foot very well. So it's a great material, of course. And that makes sense, especially since this shoe is so dang expensive, right? And now moving on to the fit. So I went up half a size and I definitely wish I went true to size because I like to have a very snug fit, right? There definitely is a little bit of length and here in the toe box, it's not super roomy, but uh, I definitely do wish it was a little bit more snug. Uh, but I definitely feel like if I did go true to size, it'll be a nice snug fit, right? But we'll have to see how this actual material uh, breaks in. Will it get roomier as I break it in, as I play in it more, or will it not? We'll have to see on that. But for the overall fit, I definitely do wish I went true to size. And if you do want a snug fit, I would suggest going true to size. And if you want a little bit more relaxed fit, then definitely go up half a size. Uh, but like I said, uh, with this knit material, I feel like most people would probably want it to be a little bit more snug so it stretches over your foot, feels a little bit more comfortable and supportive while you're playing, right? Uh, so there is the fit there. Moving on to the support and lockdown, it feels like it'll be very good. Look at all the lateral counters here, right? So as far as the uh, cage goes, we have pretty much, this is all just rubber. Right? So this is all just rubber here in the forefoot and also here in the midfoot comes up acting as a side wall. So you should be covered for louder movements here in the forefoot, here in the midfoot. And also we have this crazy external uh, like foam piece, right? It kind of comes up all the way here. I do like this circle design. Uh, so lateral containment, you should be good to go. And lateral stability, you should be good to go as well. Look at it. Look at how wide it is. 
kind of much this part protrudes out here in the forefoot, especially with the rubber outsole. So lateral stability feels like it'll be very good. And with this uh, kind of like high top design, it does seem like it has pretty good ankle support as well. It does restrict ankle movement uh, a little bit, you know, going this way, right? So overall supporting lockdown feels like it'll be very, very good, which of course is a good thing, especially with this thinner type of material. And now moving on to the weight of the shoe, this shoe feels like actually still feels pretty dang light surprisingly right and that's also another thing that they said in their like tech specs with the gcu right ground control unit is that they specially formulated this uh, rubber compound for better wear resistance for better grip right it has better grip than standard kind of like rubber compounds i guess and also it'll be more lightweight so actually you know feeling it, it doesn't feel super heavy, right? If it was just like a traditional like Nike shoe or Puma, I definitely feel like it'll be heavier. Uh, but anyways, let's check the weight. I'm guessing like, wow, 12.3 ounces. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I th you would expect this shoe to be like, you know, 14, 13 ounces at least, right? Especially with all this rubber, right? It's with this plastic and everything, it's a high top, but it's actually, like 12.45, that's it's like around average weight, you know what I mean? And obviously it's not lightweight, you know, it's average weight, but uh, that surprised me, right? And also it feels like it'll be very responsive, you know, the traction feels like it'll be top tier. I love the springiness in the actual shoe as well, in the forefoot, and also the upper feels really minimal too. So uh, yeah, I'm really liking how the shoe feels so far on foot. And now moving on to the aesthetics, wow. I really love the design of this shoe. The design on the upper looks great. Uh, the leaning logo looks very simple, especially with it being embroidered, but it looks nice. And then uh, with the circle design, it looks great. This colorway looks absolutely amazing as well. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yes, this shoe feels absolutely amazing, right? Uh, just on foot for my first impressions, I was very, very impressed. And uh, yeah, they're using their best tech on this shoe. Full length carbon fiber. We have pro bar lock, you know, the midfoot chain plate, uh, the GCU for the actual outsole full length boom. This actual upper with the TPU yarn feels great, especially for quality. So I'm pretty dang impressed and I'm very, very excited to try these out on the actual basketball court. Uh, the only, of course, the only thing is the price. The price is absolutely insane. I feel like Leaning needs to actually get like their own website, their American website and start selling their shoes uh, because I definitely feel like of people here would love it. You know what I mean? But anyways, that about concludes my first impressions look on the Leaning Yushuai Ultra. Again, if you guys don't want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.